Hi guys, today we will be talking about don'ts in the USA. What is not allowed or you shouldn't do in the USA. First of all, don't leave animals, pets in the car. Even you need to go and grab the milk from the grocery store and it will take you only one minute. You know that there are no people there and uh, the queue is uh, only for two minutes. Still, don't leave the dog in the car locked. You can leave the dog in the car and you have to roll down uh, the windows and your pet has to have fresh air. If you leave the dog with the windows closed, it's a felony in the USA. If you see a kid on the street, so don't approach the kid. If you see that there is no mother, no father next to that kid, just call 911. You know, I nearly did that mistake, but my boyfriend, he grabbed my hand. He was like, don't you ever do that because you will be charged as if you wanted to sexually harass the kid or you wanted to do something to the kid. He was like, don't you ever do that in the USA. When you see the people fighting on the street, never ever approach them, just call 911. Why? Because uh, they will be friends and then after some time they will say, oh no, that person was guilty. We were just like, you know, playing around, but you will be guilty. So my advice, just call 911, police will come and police will sort it out. And if you didn't watch my previous videos, uh, then I'm telling you to fight with people in the USA, it's not allowed. It's don't bring pills to the USA. If you don't have prescription, don't you even dare. Sometimes when we travel, we want to bring our pills, uh, some sedation, some painkillers, some vitamins. My advice, never ever bring anything to the USA unless you have prescription. You know, I had pills with me, but I had prescription from the doctor because I did plastic surgery in the past and my doctor, he gave me some kind of uh, painkillers. He said, if you have some pain, take those pills. But you cannot take vitamins uh, in your hand luggage uh, if they exceed the amount which you need to take for one flight. If you are bringing some stuff to the USA and they are vitamins, you can take vitamins for one month, not more than that. But believe me, vitamins in the USA are quite cheap, so you can get lots of them. And you know, like in my country, they are more expensive than here. Don't bring fruits or seeds to the country. You know, I was really surprised when I have heard that I was like, such a strange thing but you know when i was at one party and i got to know one girl who works uh, in the airport i asked her i was like why is that and she told me you know because we have our own crops and we want to develop our stuff here but we don't want other people bring stuff and i was like okay what about one apple it has only one or two seeds she's like yeah you can put those seeds in your garden and you will have your own fruit tree. I was like, are you serious? She's like, yeah. And she told me because she works in the airport, everybody is bringing lots of fruits and vegetables. And she said like, we have special machine. We just, you know, demolish everything. I was like, oh my God. Uh, but this is how it works in the USA. Sexual harassment, you know? You are not allowed to talk about your personal life at work. At some point I was really surprised. I was like, how is that possible? But my boyfriend explained to me, he is a lawyer. He explained to me, he was like, maybe you will be discussing with your friend, your personal life, and the other person will feel uncomfortable. So then he will file a case against you because it was sexual harassment. You cannot discuss boyfriends, you cannot discuss your preferences, what you like, you cannot discuss how you spent your previous night. I was like, what? Because you know, like we girls, we like to talk, but of course me, I'm more reserved. I don't like to talk about my personal life. Uh, you can see it on my channel that I'm not that talkative about personal life. But, uh, you know, the girls, they share with me at work. And he was like, don't you ever ask anything. I was like, okay, boss, 
Got it. <laughs> copyrighted law. If you didn't know, in the USA the copyrighted law is very strong. So here, if I produce a video, I have to use only non-copyrighted music. Some people ask me, they were like, where do you get non-copyrighted music? I'm like, you can get it from YouTube because it says non-copyrighted music. But you know, uh, there are artists here who produce music and they license it and it's not cheap. So that's why you can see some claims when you produce a video and YouTube send you a claim. So it means that the artists also want to make money from that content which you produced. In my case, I produce content, but I always use uh, non-copyrighted music. If you want to know more about the laws in the USA, so please write it down in the comment section and don't forget to give me some likes and uh, don't forget to subscribe, press the bell, you're gonna get notified as just I'm uploading new videos on my channel. See you soon, bye bye!